Hello YouTube, what's going on? Luke the Window Cleaner. Really hot today, but we're gonna cover uh, water fed pole technique, just a quick one. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You get a lot of questions on water fed pole technique, and guys, this is just a general technique that we use. Um, it's really fast. So three most important parts of pure water window cleaning is pure water. You have to make sure that your machine or whatever filters you're using is producing pure water. Uh, we typically like to operate on zero. Get familiar with your area and whatever's in your water. Uh, depending on what's in your water, you may be able to clean, say, up to 10 or 12, 15, even I've heard guys clean up to 50 TDS, so it's up to you. So the second most important thing is agitation. So typically what I do is I start from the bottom. I'll work the bottom of the glass. And you'll see they're controlled movements. It's not all willy-nilly and all over the window. Making sure that I'm paying attention to the sides. Slowly agitating up the window. It's going to extend it a little bit more. I'm working the top. I've got a swivel on this, so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of go back and forth. Now, if you're at this point and you notice that the window has bird droppings or whatever it may be, maybe it is really dirty, you can, if you have a D8 components brown spool pad holder, you can always flip it over and give it a good scrubbing. Now comes in the rinse. The rinse is very important. What you want to do is rinse off any of the dirt or impurities on the window. So it needs to be a consistent and thorough rip. I'll start at the top. And you'll notice here that it's not sheeting all the way. So this glass is hydrophobic. So I'll have to make more passes back and forth. What I'm doing is chasing that dirty line of water all the way down. So the differences in the two types of glass that you'll typically run into is hydrophobic and hydrophilic. This is hydrophilic glass. It's kind of like your worst nightmare. It's where the glass is actually repelling the water and it starts to beat up. So you will have to rinse it more thoroughly to avoid any spotting. Hydrophobic is where the glass almost absorbs the water and then it, it sheets real nice is what we call it. So you'll see just one big like waterfall of, of water coming off that window. Um, the only other thing, these frames are oxidized so you have not seen me hitting the frames really well. Typically a lot of guys suggest you to clean the frames first then the window. You'll notice like our style, I kind of stay away from the frames because I found anything you get wet you're going to have to clean and rinse. So I found if I kind of miss the frames a lot of times, it speeds things up for me. But you can get spotting that way because if you don't clean the frames and then you run over them, get them wet, and it leaks back onto your window, you can get spotting that way too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We're really busy today. It's so hot. It's like so humid. It must be like 100% humidity here today. So anyways, we gotta get back to it. Thanks, be sure to subscribe. Window Cleaning Resource uploads every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And hit the bell. Hit the bell icon. You'll so you're be notified. notified. Yeah. All right, later. Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com on YouTube. If you liked the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure to check back every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you don't miss a video. And if you just need some more Luke in your life, check out his channel at Luke the Window Cleaner on YouTube.